What's good? This is Kelby Cannon, the publisher of Making a Magazine. Back at you with a video blog. Uh, I was down in South by Southwest like last week. I had maybe five, six people come up to me telling me how much they like the video blogs and they watch all the video blogs. And man, I felt bad because I hadn't posted one in so long. So, you know, lately I've been so busy that when a topic comes up or an idea comes to mind, I, I rarely have time to sit down and put together a video blog or anything. So, uh, a couple of days ago, a, a teachable moment presented itself. So, I thought, man, this would be the perfect opportunity to jump on here and share something with my people. So, here we are. Um, I got to give you a little bit, bit of background information on, on what's going on, though. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, we do this monthly event called Music Mondays, which is a networking event where we invite out some of the city's top DJs, bloggers, promoters, and industry execs um, for a night to, to socialize, network, and spotlight uh, independent songwriters, producers, artists from all over the country. Um, and so one of the things with this event is for, for the past couple of years, been trying to struggle with finding the, the right way to go about it so that we could make sure we have the best quality music uh, while also making sure that we don't have to have sponsors for the event. Um, and so what we decided to do, we, we changed the submissions format where... Uh, any artist that wants to participate that had their music spotlighted at the event, um, they just submit their music and they pay a $50 submission fee. And so what we do is from all those submissions, we take the top 20 submissions and we feature them on the promo CD for the event, which is putting the gift bags and giving out to all the execs and bloggers and everybody who attends the event and all of the artists, producers and songwriters contact information is printed directly on the CD so that the people can network with them. Um, from there we take the top five songs out of that 20 and actually play their music during the event and our digital feedback session where we give out the contact information for all of the guests to live text their feedback on the record. If they like it, if they hate it, if they feel like something should be tweaked or done different or just send them send their contact information to, to work with the individual. Um, and last but not least, um, the the best submission received based on our reviewers and also the feedback from the guests of the event. Um, we actually booked them as one of the headliners for the following month, uh, Music Monday. So uh, this past Monday was the first Monday that we we done with this new submission uh, process. And I, I got to say, I was very pleased with the quality of the music and the way everything turned out. Um, I was so excited that the next day I, I, I personally got on the phone to call the, the top five to see how the feedback was that they received because some of them were out of town, some of them didn't get to make it out to the event. So the, the first artist that I called, uh, when I asked them about it, they seemed a little confused and they were like, well, I didn't know it made it on the CD. How did it make it on the CD? And I was like, well, you, it was submitted. And it was like, yeah, but they said, yeah, but when I was trying to submit it from my phone, um, it, it was having an error where I couldn't pay for it. And I was like, well, let me check in the system. And I check in the system to go through everything. And it turns out that I guess whatever the error was when they were submitting it on their phone, it didn't, the payment didn't go through, but it still was showing it's pending on our side. So it ended up getting reviewed. Um, and luckily it made it on the CD and everything. So I explained the situation and I told them what happened, like, you know, that it actually, it, it, it was reviewed. It actually made it on the CD, but not only did it make it on the CD, it was in the top five. So we played it at the event and did the feedback session so people could text their feedback. And then they were like, oh, so that's what all those text messages were about. We started getting all these text messages about, you know, people saying they like the record and they love the music and, you know, uh, a lot of good feedback and contacts. And I was like, yeah, that was from the digital feedback session. And so we're talking and I was like, OK, well, luckily, you know, I know you had an issue submitting it on, on the phone and making the payment on the phone. But luckily it, it made it through. It was reviewed. It got on there. It got played and everything. So what I'll do is I'll just have Kim send you an invoice for the fifty dollars and then you can just take care of that that way. Um, at that point, it, it was like an awkward silence on the phone. And then they said, uh, we we still have to pay for it. And I was like, well, I mean, I can't, you know, I can't make you pay for it, but you said you were trying to submit it. It luckily made it, made it, um, 
made it through, it got received, it got reviewed, it got on the CD and everything. Um, but, you know, at this point, it's already on the CD. So um, if you want to do the right thing and pay for it, you can. Like if you but if you don't want to pay for it, I can't make you pay for it. You don't have to pay for it. Um, and at that point, they said they quickly said, oh, well, we're not going to pay for it, but we'll submit for next month. And this is where the teachable moment comes in, because the reason why they were the first artist that I called was because they were the artist that was picked to headline for the following month. So that means that next month we're bringing out Bangladesh, super producer, produced for Lil Wayne, Beyonce, a list of people, also a dope artist, which a lot of people don't know. Um, we got radio execs coming out. We got some label reps coming out. As always, DJs, bloggers. And this artist was going to be on the flyer, in the press release, the Twitter campaign, the Facebook campaign, video of the performance, listening session, and a headline and performance during the event. Really, basically, really, it's a like a thousand dollar promotional package in addition to the actual performance. Uh, but because they they the artist decided to, I guess, get over for the fifty dollars, they put themselves out of the running and gave up the thousand dollar promotional campaign. And the whole point of that is, sometimes you can be so focused on getting over that you never get on. And that's the food for thought. KC, publisher, Megan the Magazine, signing out.